there. This is Dr. Nicola. Um, it's a rainy day here in Durango, Colorado, and uh, someone had actually requested a story. And so, Michael, this one is for you. This is from this amazing book called Dying to Be Me by Anita Morjani. Um, it's a really fascinating account of um, her experience with four years dealing with lymphoma and um, then more or less dying in the hospital and having a near-death experience. And so this was some of her words. Um, she's just incredibly articulate about the fact that this is our life and we are perfect as we are holes and messies and neurotic tendencies and all. Um, we are actually perfect exactly how we are and it actually took her having this near-death experience to really integrate this into her being, but she's incredibly articulate about talking about some of these concepts. And so without further ado, I'm gonna read you a passage from her book, Dying to Be Me. Just look at my life path. Why, oh why, have I always been so harsh with myself? Why was I always beating myself up? Why was I always forsaking myself? Why did I never stand up for myself and show the world the beauty of my own soul? Why was I always suppressing my own intelligence and creativity to please others? I betrayed myself every time I said yes when I meant no. Does that sound familiar? Why have I violated myself by always needing to seek approval from others just to be myself? Why haven't I followed my own beautiful heart and spoken my own truth? Why don't we realize this when we're in our physical bodies? How come I never knew that we're not supposed to be so tough on ourselves? I still felt myself completely enveloped in a sea of unconditional love and acceptance. I was able to look at myself with fresh eyes, and I saw that I was a beautiful being of the universe. I understood that just the fact that I existed made me worthy of this tender regard rather than judgment. I'm actually going to read that sentence one more time. I understood that just the fact that I existed made me worthy of this tender regard rather than judgment. I didn't need to do, excuse me while I turn the page, I didn't need to do anything specific. I deserve to be loved simply because I existed, nothing more and nothing less. This was a rather surprising realization for me because I always thought I needed to work at being lovable. I believed that somehow I had to be deserving and worthy of being cared for, so it was incredible to realize this wasn't the case. I am loved unconditionally for no other reason than simply because I exist. I was transformed in unimaginable clarity as I realized that this expanded, magnificent essence was really me. It was the truth of my being. So for those of us who have moments where we are harsh on ourselves or criticize ourselves, um, I think these words are really, really beautiful and articulate and well said. So may you go into um, this beautiful day um, being kind to yourself and treating you with that tender regard that you get, you, you, you've already earned because you have woken up and taken a breath. Um, you are perfect as you are, and um, I can't wait to hear more from you. So thanks so much for tuning in. Um, again, my name is Dr. Nicola, and be well.